Experts are describing it as the biggest advancement in breast cancer detection in 30 years. FDA approved in February of this year. She's in the ultrasound room. Physicians at University Hospital's Case Medical Center are the first in Ohio and among a select few in the nation to start using tomosynthesis technology on patients. So we can get a very detailed image of the breast and be able to tell if things are overlapping and causing something to look like a mass that's actually normal. On a 2D image like the one on the left, a radiologist might think this area is hiding a small cancer. However, the more detailed tomosynthesis shows that same area in a 3D volume as being nothing more than normal breast tissue. Accuracy that helps decrease the number of false positive or false negative results that can stem from standard mammography. Hello. For Joanne Laurent, this type of precision and a family history of breast cancer I have an appointment at are two reasons she decided to take advantage of tomosynthesis for her annual mammogram. I think the technology that's here now is a great advantage to us to finding out uh, if you have breast cancer very early on. In fact, when breast cancer is found early and confined to the breast, the five-year survival rate is 97%. We know that annual screening mammograms starting at the age of 40 saves lives. Digital breast tomosynthesis will help us discover these breast cancers earlier at an earlier stage when they're most treatable. With about 200,000 new breast cancer diagnoses each year, advancements like tomosynthesis will be a critical new tool in early breast cancer detection.